What's going on guys? Um, I'm gonna be doing a guide and um, I am fond of Dr. Mario these days as you can see by my last um uh, like custom short, you know, smash short. I was doing good with Dr. Mario for a couple of times. Dr. Mario is really, really good. Um, in my opinion, besides his recovery, his recovery is complete ass and total dipshit. It's retarded. But um, so uh, for you guys who didn't know, um, if you want to practice this, it's called short hop fast falls. Let's check this out. And that's what you want to learn first, and then try and get that, you know, the timing on well. And to do this, you'll do a full hop, right? You'll just push the button, and you'll probably do a full hop, right? And you're like, oh, okay, I guess I can do that. <laughs> and you're like, oh, how to do a short hop. And literally, the way you can learn it is, like, have your thumb on the end of the jump button or whatever, and then just kind of, like, flick it down, and you'll hit it just quick enough to where he'll do a short, short hop all the time. So if you want to just practice fast falling after a full hop, um, that's a good way to get fast falling down. Because um, you you can fast fall as soon as you get to the peak of your jump and you start to slow down. Like, you see how you like stop and then start to fall again? Well then you can fast fall now, fast fall now, fast fall now, fast fall now. So then what you can do after that is start mixing in moves and stuff like that. And just kind of like boom, 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 and then 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 boom. Look how quick you are, like, look at this. Look how quick you are. Cloud, you're gonna get wrecked, fam. Uh. So there's his neutral B, and then his down special, and then his up special, which is actually a kill move. Um, what a, what a minute, what a, side special is the cape. Interesting thing about the cape is it does not make, make him float. It does not make him like stall in the air like, uh, Stalin. Ha! Stalin in the air. Yeah. No. I think, in my opinion, a good approach option is, uh, what I like to do is do a short hop. Bleh, that's a full hop. Never mind. A short hop, um, pill. Because that way you can, what you can do is, you know, like kind of move with the pill a little bit, get in their face, and then go for the neutral air. So let me reset this, because this is not going to not gonna be helpful if he keeps dinking around, douche. Get over there, dickhead. So good combo starters are neutral air to down tilt to grab to down throw to whatever else. I like to try and go for uh, up up airs because those are really good you can chain those pretty well I like using the C stick or like the the other stick to uh, do the aerials because that way you can control your movement with the other one and get your short hops better and like um, if you're pressing up and you have tap jump on with the thing with the regular stick he'll just immediately jump if you push up you know um, so in this scenario like watch if I try and do an up air he'll do another jump and you don't want to waste your jump if you're trying to you know get him off stage like that and then you can go for in that and then you can go for that um so that's a good edge guard in my opinion and to use forward air and sometimes that's not the best obviously because dr mario's recovery is really pretty ass like look at this you can go only like this far and you you know you can't make it back so it becomes really hard to gauge how far you can go off stage um, before you die, you know? It's like, edge guarding is kind of hard with Dr. Mario sometimes, so that's why. Let's check this out. If you have a platform like this, you want to like throw a pill if it would stop angling. Here, can it come to me? Camera, go on me. So, say you're on this platform, right? And Cloud is over on like coming back. And what you want to do then is do this try and keep him away from that ledge. And with that little like, uh, with the little pills you can like oh gosh I gotta go over that too um so with the the pills you can block them off from the edge and hopefully get her get them to not grab the ledge and then after that so you get them not grab the ledge right there and then cape them and then you can get back it's it sounds really cheesy like you should cape them like all the time but if you see an opportunity the cape is like so disrespectful and it's fun to use so auto cancels are uh, very very good to know in this game um it's kind of like 
L, L canceling in melee, and you probably don't know what that is, but it's like, it's, it's shortening the move when you land. So, when you land, you'll land without any, like, you see how Mario, when he hits and he, like, grabs the ground, kind of, he grabs the ground, like that, and there's, like, a big puff of smoke and he grabs the ground, and then he has to go from the crouching to back up, like, here, I'll go in slow motion. Okay, so, I do the aerial, and he's like, kick, and then he grabs the ground, you see that? So, this means that you'll, you'll end up having to go through that animation of him doing that and that's sometimes that's no bueno so uh, if you're trying to you know get away from somebody or anything like that so one of his moves that auto cancels on a short hop is his back air like see how I can immediately like punch after that like I fall to the ground and I can immediately punch so like boop boop and then so I'm gonna try and show this in slow motion half speed boop fast fall punch boop fast fall punch boop fast fall punch so he that's a great spacing tool if you need to get um but see like look with this neutral air i can't punch right after that like here i'll show you i'll i'll let you hear it with my controller ready neutral air and then i'm tapping b or tapping a and he won't do a punch i'm pretty sure the full hop forward air will auto cancel um but you see with that like if you don't do a full hop or maybe it's a double jump, actually. Maybe it is a double jump. Stupid platforms. Yeah, it is a double jump. So, for you to auto-cancel the, the forward air, you're going to have to double jump and land with no lag. And I think it's a full hop for the, um, for the nair. Yeah, it's a full hop for the nair. And, um, I think it's, I think you can, um, honestly, I think the up air auto-cancels too. So, let's see here. Yeah, I think it does. So, auto it uh, up air auto cancels with a um, short hop fast fall, which is nice because that's a that's a wonderful combo stat there. Let's talk about recovery then. So let's check this out. Um, Doctor Mario has a lot. He he doesn't really have too much. I I was a liar on that statement. He does not have too much to keep him on the stage. You cloud, dickhead, I meant to do a back air. So what you're gonna want to do is if you get flung way the frick out here, you're gonna want to do your down special first and keep like mashing B like nobody's business. That's what gives him that up, that up, upward velocity. And um, if you don't, he just falls. And that's sad panda moment. You're gonna want to use this first and then use your double jump and then use your up B. And if that doesn't get you there, you know that you should have done something different. B reversing is pretty confusing to the opponent. Um, what it is, is you'll do your neutral, right? You'll do your neutral special, and that's the pill. So, so let's check this out. Say I'm going this way, and I want to change direction. Well, sometimes he doesn't do that. You just kind of like go backwards right after you do the pill. Well, like, what B reversing is, is it'll immediately turn you around like this. Or, no, not like that. Don't use a side special, you stupid. Oh my god, you stupid. Oh my god, you stupid. What are you doing? Okay, I, I can't seem to do it. I used to be able to do it so well. There you go. That's B reversing. So, like, you'll be going this way, and then you'll, uh, and then you'll, and then you'll, and then, and then, and then, and god damn, then you'll do that. You, uh, okay, so you have your momentum this way, right? And I'm gonna slow this down because it'll just be easier for you guys to see. Um, so you have your momentum in one direction. You jump, you do your neutral B, and then you immediately flick in the other direction. So you will boop and then immediately flick, and that changes your momentum immediately. So you can do this with all characters, with any character that has a neutral special and it's a projectile or anything at all. You can immediately change the the thing. I don't know if you can do it with uh, the KO punch. I'm pretty sure you can though. So Mario, Dr. Mario, has a wall jump, and this is probably not the best stage to show you his wall jump, but that is handy dandy. <laughs> if you're if you're recovering really low, you want to make sure if you can use the, the wall jump first. Uh, wall jump, and then your down B, 
and then you can get back up. Usually, if you're not that far away, you know. When you do his recovery, is sometimes if you have it angled in that direction, he won't grab the ledge. No matter how close he is, like sometimes it's just weird like that, and it just hates you, and you're like, "Wow, I'm the worst Smash player out there." And you're like, "Oh, maybe I should sell my Xbox." And you're like, "Oh yeah, kid, I should." You can um, jab lock with him, obviously, because he does have a projectile. So jab locking is it's present in every Smash game ever's, but in this game, it's kind of like toned down. That way, it's not completely unfair. Jab lock happens when. Say I use a neutral air and he didn't tech it. He didn't do the the rolly roll or he didn't do the 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 um the one where you're falling down and you do the you do the shit and you hit the shield button and you get back up immediately. That's teching. That gives me a free chance to throw a projectile at him and that nudges him forward just a little bit and that forces him into what's called a normal get up. So you can't roll. You can't do the attack get up. His, his damage is really high. So I jab blocked him and that gives you a free up smash because they're uh, or a down smash. Whatever you want to do gives you a free hit. Dr. Mario, you're going to have to be prepared to die a lot uh, if you want to use him. But he is very fun to use. I recommend anybody picking him up to please don't spam ups, up up tilts. Just try and be a good c good player and don't ding do the shit and do the up tilt spam like all four glory Mario players I've ever seen in my life. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and the guide and hopefully I'll be doing more if you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys in the next video and peace out. Did any of you guys watch the Broncos game, the freaking Super Bowl? I'm from Colorado, so, or I live in Colorado, I'm not from, well, I'm from Colorado, but I'm, I live in Colorado, so, you know, I'm pretty hype about that. I just, you know, I'm wearing a Sanders jersey right now, and hope you enjoy the Super Bowl.